All right, this is starting a project and making a tin in the space of 10 minutes. I brought up AutoCAD, downloaded it last night, so I've got the student version. This is how it'll probably look at home for you. You see the task pane comes up for map. You might not want that around. It might be confusing. These look a little different, but all of it, remember that you start, once you check everything, by going to a new drawing and knowing where you're getting your template. Downloaded from the DOT again last night. I downloaded and put it in a place that I know where it's at. I put their template, which would have been right there. So I'm opening up a drawing with the template. I'm canceling out that. That was fonts. Looking for a shape file. Shape files, for the most part, we know are really SHP files are. ArcGIS, they're GIS files. Once you go here, you've got to make sure, in fact, that you go to settings, that your drawing settings are correct so you know what coordinate system you're on. So we're going to go ahead and change that. You see, this is the state. So I'm surprised it isn't preset for them, but we're going to go out to USA, Wisconsin, State Plains Central. I think we're going to start to remember what that number is so we don't have to do this each time. But we know it's 80 something something dash C. But we're going to go here, USA, Wisconsin. We're going to go to State Plains Central, NAD 83, US Survey Foot, 81 WI 83-CF, apply. Okay, I'm not going to worry about the layering right now. I'm just going to arbitrarily first put a cadastral map, and I'm going to make this this uh, section one mile north of the one we've been doing up till now. I can do that by having all my snaps off. No, I just want to go ahead and put a line. I'm going to double check. I want to put a line in so I can just use the line command right from 2 million, 1, 2 million, comma, 200,000. And then I'm going to go 5280 due north. So at 5280 angle 90, nothing's on. It doesn't try to jump anywhere. My object snaps are not on. It goes there. Zoom extents. Remember, zoom center and zoom extents are kind of commands you should start to know. You could bring up the, the zoom bar if you don't know how to use the zoom center off the top of your head. Draw another line. Well, since we got that line, let's just go ahead and practice clicking on a line, left clicking, space bar, space bar. I'm going to C for copy and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees in a positive direction. I'll go ahead and get rid of this one now. I'm going to offset, O for offset, 5280. I'm making the cadastral map now, which will stay on elevation zero. Zoom extents. A line from the end there to the end there. And I'm going to offset this through. Realizing offsetting through is a great thing, habit to keep, even though you know that's north south. That'll work at other points in time when you're not going due up north south and east west. I'm going to now, that is my cadastral map. I'm not going to change the layers because I'm trying to beat the 10 minutes, but we would put that on the set of layers that were designated to be more or less 2D and a cadastral map. And now I'm going to offset those lines 100 feet. They're still in 2D, so I can still not worry about offsetting. I could fill it them together, but in all reality, because I'm just trying to make a 10, I don't need to put them together. What I do need to do is get them at elevation, so I'm going to left click left click, left click, left click. And now I'm going to go to one of those points and left click and space bar. Now I want to move, but I don't want to copy. I don't want to leave anything behind. So I'm just going to now say I'm going to go at 0, 0, 1,000, bringing them up 1,000 feet. Now I'm going to go ahead and just finally give you the idea of how to do a point filter with when you're just arbitrarily tricking, uh, clicking, but how to use the dot Z. So you can pick a place to give it an X and a Y and then put in the Z. And now I'm going to say L for line. And you can just type in dot XY if you want. 
of that point with the Z of 1200. And I can now show you it's shift right click point filters dot X Y of this point. I'm going to make that 1300. Put a ridge down my tin. I now have five lines I want to make in my surface. So we go now and make the surface. We will call this surface X topo. That appears to be consistent with what the DOT has been doing in the past. So we need now to go to settings, prospector, settings, prospector, and make a surface. You'll hear me calling it a tin. Um, for me, they're synonymous, but I'll try to keep, you can train me to say surface, just like I'm going to train you to say that a line has a direction, not an angle. So I'm going to right click, create a surface. I'm going to give that surface a name right away that makes sense. We're going to call it X topo, but we're going to put dash, I'm sorry, underscore bogus. In other words, we're just making this one up. We're going to hit OK. Now we've defined, we've made the sur define the surface. We, we've made the surface, now we need to define the surface. I'm going to go to definition, push this out here. And we want to do this with drawing objects. So I'm going to right click, add a set of lines, I guess. Hit OK. I didn't give a description. I could have one, two, three, four, five. We selected them all. Notice in this case that those exterior lines kind of acted as a boundary. Hit a space bar. The color's been changed, so you're pretty certain that it is now a surface when you click on it. This changes so you know it's a surface when you go to here. You can go ahead and edit your surface style here. You can edit your surface style up on top, so I'll do that. I'm going to click on the surface, go to surface properties here, and change the surface style to... Um, let me just try existing triangles and see if that works. Apply. OK. You see it's got some triangles. Again, you want to remember to have this surface off once you've built it. The cadastral lines or the boundary lines should show you about where you want to be. Let me zoom in here to the corner. You see what happened there. It actually took a, uh, did a, a line across there. This is all kind of just a ridge with a, a saddle, more or less, or I'm sorry, a ridge going on here with a certain elevation here. As I stop my mouse, it should start to know, right? Should start to know what my elevation is at any one point, depending on the settings you've got on. All right, that said, you do want to get used to keeping those surfaces off. So I'm going to click on it, go up to here, surface properties. You can leave it on boundary, but for now, I would really train you to use no display here. And that will train us to go back if we want to turn it back on, to go back over here to the surfaces right click surface properties and then change it here with whatever we want to see the major it's kind of an odd one um, 10 foot major two foot minor up uh, there you go there you have it you don't want that to be on that's going to cause problems for most of your your drafting um, so we've made now uh, a 10 in 10 minutes um, from starting a project we could have a photo in here in just as long as because of the fact that we could go now to tool-based geospatial and bring in something be only because, this will only work because we also set up the coordinate system. Um, we'll start doing this in 10 minutes as well, a number of different ways. Um, especially using points since that's what many of you have were trained to use at first and realistically that's what you'll be using when you're making the surface but generally if you're doing design the surface will then be provided to you and locked down by the people making the existing uh, surface or the tin it'll be done through a an, uh, a setting called data shortcuts which you see right down here once we get that working on the network we'll roll that out so there it is a surface in 10 minutes tend to leave when you want leave your drawings it's a good idea probably to change the surface properties to not anything so dense you can leave it in just triangles or you can leave it in um, the um, border right but I'm just gonna leave it in no display thanks for listening bye